let me say this. You and I have been going at it for years. I don't think there has ever been a moment where we have disagreed more than this one. I completely disagree with you. I don't think it's about one man. I think it's about a culture. I think it's about an institution. And I think it's directly related to the football program. And that's the thing that resonates with me. Would Jerry Sandusky have been able to recruit as many kids if he wasn't affiliated with the program? Would Jerry Sandusky have been more than an employee who was just a despicable human being that would have been thrown to jail if it were not for the football program? The football program is what enabled this to go on for as no, long as no, it did. Joe Paterno no, what, 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 what? Joe Paterno is Penn State he football. Is. Okay? Now, 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 there were other people who were aware of it and to some degree were complicit. There are people who are facing legal charges because of this. It did not just stop at Joe Paterno. And, 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 and did we say... If Joe Paterno were alive today, he might be facing I, criminal no, charges. I think he would. He would be facing yeah. criminal charges. As an accessory so, so, to so, so, heinous so, crime. So, as we know all of this, yeah. and we know that the institution itself, led by one man, Joe Paterno, allowed this to happen to a point where, um, I, I'm talking about a, a, a serial pedophile, ran amok for 14 years at least, as far as we know, okay? Moral ineptitude? Come on now. I mean, the absence of the bankruptcy of morals in this particular case, it has their football program written all over it. Every time you see Penn State in the, in the, in the near future, you are going to think about nothing but the child molestation. Yeah. Nobody's going to care. And that's the message that you have to send if you're the NCAA. We don't want them. But, you know, plastered on our television screens, representing themselves in a, as an extension of our shield, our brand, when this is the salacious, disgusting stuff sullying their name in the background. We don't want to be associated well, with that. It, it's good that you brought that up because we see it often with Roger Goodell. He talks about protecting the shield. So to that end, Skip, wasn't the NCAA, shouldn't, don't they have a responsibility to protect their shield by... Uh, coming out with these penalties against Penn State. So yeah. this is different. This but is but, but you got to be a part of the NCAA to be a part of the BCS to get okay. paid. I mean, come on now. I mean, you don't have to, but you have to. We understand that. Yeah. But but in the end, I, I still say the NCAA stepped across a line that is going to open up one of the biggest all-time Pandora's boxes. Anytime a coach runs amok, a player runs amok, now they're going to look to, to Mark Emmert and say, you're going to punish let, them for let this? Let them all be worried. Let them walk around petrified. Let them be scared out of their boots. Let them all be uncomfortable. We should all be uncomfortable in light of what happened to those kids.